You may begin speaking now. Ultra Rising, Ultra Rising Collective. Um, a happy Jupiter day from here all the way to planet Jupiter. So, um, coming through today with a good old full moon in Aries, um, upgrade or download or, you know, that just came through. And um, first and foremost, before we get started, I really, really, really just want to say thank you to those who genuinely, truly, you know, is supporting um, me throughout this process. Um, those true ones, A ones, day ones, man, thank you because, you know, sometimes pictures get painted of people and all people really know how to do is identify a person with the images that society is paying for them to see. But sometimes, just sometimes, the images that society is trying to paint them to see is not the image that the person really is or that even really occurred. With that being said, I appreciate the ones who have a strong enough mind, a strong enough mental power to not allow the dark energies or the karmic egoic personality or the Satan energies to deter them from the message and the truth that I share. Um, thank you for always supporting me and thank you for always being here with me. And um, I will be touching down soon. All right, so today's name of the lecture, guys, is Full Moon in Aries. Protect your energy. What is the concept of trapping consciousness? Okay, so this is important. Um, it's important that we all know how to protect our energy, regardless if we are religious folk, regardless if we are spiritual, regardless if we are um, magical or mystical, no matter what we are, we, we one must learn to protect their energy. Just like the sun. Say there, there were energies, negative energies, negative timelines, and entities who uh, seek to harness the energy of our sun. Now, these energies could try to use all of their infinite technology that they want and try to infiltrate or intrude in the sun's um, core. But what's going to happen is soon they try to come close to the sun with any devices, any any uh, probes, any ships. The sun is going to always protect its own energy and the sun going to zap them. You feel what I'm saying? The sun is going to zap them. So with that being said, we all got to know how to zap them. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? And um, protecting your energy is one of the most vital things that we all, it's essential to your soul evolution process. It's essential to you and your destinies. So protecting your energy, let's talk about that. Um, to me, uh, based on my own wisdom and experience, I've realized that there are a few ways that are the most valuable ways that I've seen that works for me right? And to protect the energy. And that is um, the universal law of prayer. And I don't mean prayer as in, uh, I mean prayer affirmation, right? Prayer affirmation and also the universal law of self-love. To me, these are the most powerful defense mechanisms towards anything that is that somebody doesn't want in their energy field, anything that you need to protect your energy from, right? But there's also other aspect, right? And this involves mentalism, right? This involves mentalism, this involves your mind, this involves your imagination, this involves you protecting your mental body and the intellectual part of yourself, okay? Um, now, here's the thing. Using your thoughts to protect your energy is very important. Why? Why? Right? Why? Because when you're talking about the concept of trapping consciousness, it's not a it's not a physical apparatus. It's not nothing that you can actually physically see. So if you don't know what you're dealing with, it will be nearly impossible for you to protect yourself or defend yourself or to not allow, right? Or to not subtly agree to allowing an energy or a concept or a thought or idea to to siphon your energy per se. Okay, so <clears throat> traffic consciousness is about negative energy harvesting. 
right? And when I say negative energy, I I don't mean negative like charges. I actually mean negative as in malicious, right? That's what I mean in this concept. So what is trapping consciousness, right? Let's just start there. So trapping consciousness is when service to self or malicious intent gatekeepers of information are leaders of huge collectives and they direct the hive mind's awareness to the past and the future timelines in a way that serves their selves only or in a way that serves the trickster, jokester, consciousness, energy, or in a way that serves the dark web um, and the uh, cyber realities. The thing about the cyber realities is there are no laws there, there are no, it's free, it's free space, free space. So there's a lot of things going on, a lot of things happening on the basis of our um, entire existence. And there's a lot of stuff going on that a lot of people can't see. So the best thing I can offer you right now, right, the, the need that I can feel for you right now is given the awareness or given the opportunity so that you can be aware of what's, have, what's going on here. That way you protect yourself right now. Because now is what matters the most. Um so you may wonder, if all there is is if all there is is now, then how could consciousness be trapped in the past or the future? Well, that's exactly it, right? There is no past or future. The past or the future is only alive because of the perspective that we exist in allows it to be because we give it permission to be, because the way that we experience time supposedly, collectively, is in a linear fashion. But that's, you've got to expand and upgrade your realities and your belief systems, and then you would experience time in a total different way, in a way that nobody can even, uh, can even measure, like in a way that no one has even discovered yet, you feel what I'm saying, on this planet. So, this is how, you know, consciousness can be trapped. So, there is no past and no future. All there is is your belief systems and perspectives. Now, let's say that there is a gatekeeper who is a, a powerful spiritual leader and whatnot. This person may be conscious, but may be consciously in their ego or operating out of their ego, or we like to call it service to self energy. Now, this gatekeeper knows, right? Now, maybe not on a physical level, but on a spiritual level, this gatekeeper knows how to basically emotionally manipulate the masses. And so, how do they do this? They keep the consciousness or the collective high mind's attention or awareness, because your attention is everything. They keep your awareness focused on the past or the future, which neither doesn't exist. So what's happening is every time you take your awareness and you focus, like, like, it basically, especially if it's attached to a negative emotion, let me give you an example of what I'm saying. Let's say that I'm a spiritual leader, right? And let's say that, um, I'm a gatekeeper, right? Let's just say hypothetically speaking. So let's just say that I'm already aware of this. And so what I want to do is I want to keep my collective, I want to reverse psychology. I want to keep my collective's energy. Uh, I want to hyphen their, I want to harvest their souls and I want to siphon their energy. So I want to keep their attention into the past. And so how would I do that? I'm going to bring up a huge event, right? Let's, 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 let's really, really play with this idea. Let's say the crucifixion of Christ, right? That's something that will pull the Christians like, emotions that will push their button you get to talking about some people will some people will unalive you if you say the wrong things about certain entities and thought forms and agricoles right some people will live for their belief systems you feel me so let's just say this was something that somebody just continuously the teacher continuously brought up continuously brought up to the crucifixion the crucifixion so every time we think about this crucifixion it's immediately going to trigger our negative emotions in the collective template. So we immediately going to get mad. We immediately going to get sad. That right there is harnessing the negative energy. So now we're focusing our attention on it. Now we're talking about it. Now we're giving it more energy. And what's happening is that teacher, it could be me or anybody else, is harvesting that energy. And they're using it and feeding it back to the dark web. And what's happening is the dark web and the other side of the web, they're using it to power up all of their technology. 
all of their ethereal weapons, astral projectiles, and all that to basically influence a powerful event to happen. Once that powerful event happens, then collectively, we're all focused on it, we're all worried about it, right? So we know, come 11-11, there shall be a huge event, right? Even the end of this month, maybe around 10 to 11-11, there's going to be some energies popping off. Now, somebody like me knows to prey on the events to to basically lessen the effect or the catalytic effect that w- that which could uh, uh, that which could manifest that which has the possibility to manifest, depending on a lot of the teachers and how they are uh, moving in their collective. So I tell you this: to protect your energy, you have to practice on keeping your thoughts with you right now. Keeping your consciousness with you right now. You only need to revisit the past in order to increase or deepen your present understanding. That's it. It's no other reason why we go into the past. If you walk around and you still mad at something somebody that you think somebody done did to you some time ago, you you you, you stuck in the past. Right? That's what you stay stuck in the past too long, that transforms into negative karmic energy. Negative karmic energy transforms into reincarnation. It transforms into none of your higher level chakras opening up. It transforms into your awareness being stagnant to the point to where you can't get to who you really are. You can't get to your true self. You can't get to your core signature. You can't get to your memories. All right? We all want to access our our uh, soul's blueprint and our dynamic layout. You know, I got another download too for today. And um, it's about uh, the new level of consciousness that we have awakened on this planet. And it's going to be very interesting. Make sure y'all subscribe and share and like and tap into that. But anytime you catch anybody, I don't care. It, it don't have to be a teacher. It could be a friend, a homie, it could be anybody. Anytime you catch somebody, every time you talk to them, they're complaining. They're trying to keep you worried about the past. They're trying to talk about old stuff that don't even matter right now. You need to tell them, protect your energy. And tell them, no. Can we talk about what's going on now? You feel what I'm saying? No, I don't want to keep keep visualizing and imagining for the future, especially with somebody you don't see a future with. That don't even make sense. Yes, it's smart to do your visualization practices, but not to dwell on it all, like, over and over again. Like, it's smart to visit these visualizations of the future, maybe five, ten minutes a day, slight, slight, you know what I'm saying? Just so that you can lay, you can project your layout, because you got to create the energy. The energy doesn't get created without itself, and I know they say that. I know they say that, but you are the nuclear reaction. You feel what I'm saying? You are the atoms. The atoms create themselves. You feel me? And you are the atoms created. Right? So, you know, anything that keeps your attention off of the now moment is a trap. And ultimately, there is no past and no future. That doesn't exist. You know what I'm saying? So, visit these places just to get what you need, gather a little information, a little bit of memory, collect, you know, collect a little picture, you know what I'm saying, so that you can better help yourself right now. But the whole goal is to stay present in your entire moment. Like, be one with your present moment. Right now, of course I want to get out. I want to be released. I'm here on some stuff I didn't even do. You know, people talking all nonsense, you know, based on the, what the paper is saying. So people painting me to be this this energy that I'm not, that I would never be. I'm not mad at it. I'm not even going to react to it. I'm damn sure I'm not going to respond to it. All I'm going to do is just keep on moving. Why? Because I know. One minute remaining. I know that I operate in my true self. And I also know that my power is my benevolent heart and virtue. And nobody can take that from me. Not nobody. You know, not no karmics, not the situation, none of that. And so I choose to be present right now so that I can receive all the information I need to receive so that I can take full advantage of the situation because nothing don't happen for nothing. Everything happens for something. And people will be so busy trying to be nosy in other people's business and like they stuff don't stay. Oh, Tom, you know, I love y'all. You know what I'm saying? I love you. That's all I want you to know. And I forgive anybody who is trying to judge me for this situation and I ain't even do it. It's a whole lot. But, hey, it is what it is. 
Man, y'all have a good day out there. You know what I'm saying? Happy Jupiter Day. I'm 